Hey, I'm Craig Hudson. I'm a student at Corcoran, College of Art and Design, a couple blocks down the street studying photojournalism. I'm from San Francisco, and I'm here to photograph and be a part of Occupy DC. The reason I'm here. Go ahead. The reason I'm here is because I saw on TV about a month ago Occupy Wall Street, and so I decided to take a trip up there. And what struck me the most when I got there was how different it was from every other protest I've ever seen. Being from the Bay Area, protests are a dime a dozen. Something happens, uh, we start a war, bills are passed that people don't like. They grab a couple signs and stomp some grass for maybe a day or two and then they go home. There's nothing substantial, there's no foundation that's laid, there's no terms that are created. What struck me about Occupy Wall Street is not only its organization and structure and how the camp is run, but also the message and the fact that they are not going anywhere. That they are going to stay there until change happens, until change, real reform is made. And as a result of that, more groups such as Occupy DC, Occupy Boston, Philadelphia, Houston, San Francisco, Los Angeles have been growing all around the country because a foundation has now been laid in these occupation movements. The police have repeatedly tried to crack down on these organizations, but the people just keep coming back. And the reason is because they're going after the branches. They're not going after the roots because the roots are strong. As long as the roots, as long as Occupy DC, Occupy Wall Street, and other similar organizations across the East Coast are here, this movement is going to continue to grow stronger and continue to organize and expand. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So as we go into the winter and as we prepare for whatever may occur with police action, with snow, we're going to get organized, we're going to create a message, and we're going to move forward and create real change in this country. Right. Right. Okay, so the 30